I went to the gym and played basketball the other day, and I had a really weird experience. This experience taught me a powerful lesson about creativity. If you are a creator or you want to be a creator of any kind, whether it's a writer or a content creator, you're going to want to watch this. In this video, I'm going to share the really strange thing that always gets in our way when we're trying to create what we were meant to put on earth, our life's work. So stay tuned. So I go to the gym and I'm there to lift weights because I'm obviously really swole, but I get there and I see that the weight room is crowded and I'm like, you know, I'm actually too big anyways. So I'm just going to go play basketball instead. And I haven't played a proper game of basketball in 20 years. I play horse with my friends every now and then or shoot around. And that's all I was there to do that day. I just grabbed a basketball and I was just shooting around listening to some Tupac in my AirPods, just having fun. Not too long ago, I had been watching the NBA playoffs between my Denver Nuggets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. And I could remember like what Jamal Murray looked like when he pulled up for a jump shot. And I was like, I'm just going to imitate that form when I pull up for my jump shots. And I don't know if that was the reason why, but for some reason I was hitting everything. And I'm not bragging because this like hasn't happened to me in a decade, but that day I was just hitting all my shots, like three pointers, just swishing them. I would like step back five feet from behind the three point line. And I was hitting those shots too. For some reason I was just in the zone. I was just really feeling it. And there was probably like six other people in the gym. There's like three basketball courts. It's a really big place. At some point I started to have thoughts. I was like, are these people seeing me hit all these shots? What if they think I'm good at basketball mistakenly and they ask me to play? Well, maybe I am great at basketball. Maybe I should be doing this more often. All this stupid stuff was going through my head. I made up this little story that like I was the guy who was hitting shots at the gym that day. It was so stupid. I'm embarrassed to admit this, right? But the funny thing is as soon as I started to have those thoughts, guess what happened? I started bricking everything. I couldn't hit a shot to save my life. What basically happened is I was in flow state just in the moment. And then when I noticed that I was hitting my shots, I started to think about it and to create this ego, or this identity. And when that identity got introduced into the situation, my hot streak was over. Now, it's funny that this happened because I'm legitimately not good at basketball, but my skills are actually irrelevant because an NBA player can tell themselves that they're terrible. And a 40 year old white dude can convince himself for 10 minutes that he is good at basketball. And it's not about whether you tell yourself that you're great or you're terrible. It's whether you start to have those thoughts at all when you start to label what's going on. As soon as that junk enters your brain, that takes you out of being present. It takes you out of flow state and it puts you into this ego state. And all of a sudden the waters are very muddy and it's very hard to have any kind of consistent performance. The best basketball players actually know this. If you watch Nikola Jokic, he's like the MVP of the NBA. He plays for the Nuggets. And that dude just is stone cold. He doesn't show any emotion, good or bad, while he's playing. He just stays very relaxed and calm and in the moment. Now, the reason why I'm talking to you about all of this is because you are a creator of some kind. You create content, you might make videos, or maybe you have a podcast or a YouTube channel. Maybe you're a writer, maybe you're a musician. It doesn't matter. The same thing can happen to you. You could post something on YouTube, no one likes it, and you start to think, ah, you know, maybe I suck. Maybe I shouldn't do this. You know, maybe I'm just not credible. Or you could post something and it could go viral. And then you'd be like, oh my gosh, I'm so great. I'm so awesome. You know, what should I post next? And then the next thing you post is like too much about you because your ego is big now. And then it sucks. And the takeaway here is that the more you make an identity out of yourself, whether you say it's good or bad, based upon results that you're getting in your creative journey, or even based upon imagined results. Cause some people won't post a single thing because they're just like, what if blank? When you do that, when you make an ego and an identity out of it, you impede the flow of your creativity. It's as simple as taking a hose where the water is flowing and kinking the hose. The creativity 
will no longer flow. True creativity comes from beyond our egos. It comes from the universe through us, you know, through our fingers into the keyboard under the paper or through our paintbrush or whatever your medium is. And it can only happen when you take yourself out of the equation and you create from a deeper place. And it's not about you proving your own self-worth, but instead it's about the good that you want to do for other people. That's something that I've had to work on. I realized that in a lot of this time that I've been trying to grow my brand and publish books and all this stuff, I'm trying to like make myself more than I am to prove my self-worth, to be like, mm, look, I'm here. Like, you know, look what I did. I am now worthy because I had a best-selling book or whatever. And realizing that my aspiration to have those things is literally the thing getting in the way of me possibly having them because I'm blocking my own creativity and creating this very small manipulated version of what I could actually contribute because I've kinked the hose in my own accord by making something that I create about me and like, oh, I'm going to put this video on YouTube so that my ego can get enhanced versus just a genuine transmission of wanting to serve and to love and help other people. And that's really gotten in my own way of success and just happiness with my business as a creator. So don't make it about yourself. Make content because you love other people and you want to share things with them and add value to them. That will allow you to get out of your head and to enter the present moment and to just let creativity flow. Not only will your work be 10 times as higher quality when you work from that place, but I can tell you from the times that I am successful with this, it is much more enjoyable to create in a flow state. It is like the best experience you can ever have. It just feels so good. It's almost like when I get in flow state when I'm writing, the words write themselves. It's just pouring out of me and inspiration is hitting me like boom, boom. And I'm grabbing a post-it note to take other ideas down and it doesn't last forever, but that is where the true work comes from. And it will never happen for you or me if we introduce all these thoughts about us and our identities and our egos and good and bad into the equation. So I hope that helped you like, and subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment and tell me if this resonated with you and what your experience has been like when you've gone through this as a creator. Appreciate you being here. I'll see you next time.